Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to um, show you how to using symmetric um, notes to help you to do modeling and save your time. Um, in this case, I would like to model the leg of my character. Um, if I model the left hand side, I would like to mirror the polygon to the right hand side so you save a lot of time. And uh, I will need to do modeling twice. So, a fast way um, the first, I create a leg polygon just using cylinder. Okay, just make it a little bit narrow, okay, smaller, and um, I need to move it, okay, just move it a little bit um, here, and move to the left hand side, make it a little bit narrow, okay, so here is my left leg, okay, I just rename it, okay, so the next, if I finish the modeling, Okay, I can convert this polygon. Okay, just press C to make a polygon. And then so I can go to the toolbar to select symmetric node. Okay, so this symmetric node will mirror um, any of the selected polygons or any child's polygons using the mirror plan you define. So I just add this symmetric node, drag the polygon under as a child. Okay, so you can see that the right hand side of the right next will be automatically created. So when you finish modeling, okay, so you, you might need to do animation. Um, if you keep the polygon in symmetric mode, you can't animate um, the left separate objects. So first, select the symmetric, okay, and press C again. Okay, so after press C, both left and right will become polygon, okay, a single polygon. Then I need to spread, okay, the right hand side or the right next into separate objects. So the first select the polygon, okay, contain both left and right next. Use polygon two. Use rectangle selection, okay. So I just want to select, okay, the right leg. Okay, just selection two. Select the right leg. Okay, so make sure. Um, in this case, I make sure I'm not selecting only select visible elements. Otherwise, I only select um, the visible elements. I would like to select the whole polygon. So make sure you uncheck this option. So after you select this polygon, you need to split into a new polygon. Under functions, select split. Okay, so Cinema 40 will create a new polygon. So this polygon. Is contain only the slab polygon. So in this case, just this is the right leg. So I rename it right leg. Okay. So um, I just put it outside the hierarchy. Okay. So you see it more clear. I just hide um, the symmetric. Okay. So you see that the right leg now is become a separate objects. But the bad thing is you can see the preferred point will remain. The same as the left leg. Okay, so you can see the axis, the local axis paper point is over here. So you need to center to the um, object. So after that, you you can you can more easily do the animations. So you just select the polygon under structures. Here is the options called axis center. Okay, center axis two. Okay, so after that, you can see some property remove. The local access to the center of the objects. Okay, so I just hide that right leg, and you can see the symmetric node still contain the right hand side. Okay, so I need to delete this um, objects. So I slide the polygon. Okay, so I slide the polygon, polygon mode. Okay, and then um, here is my previous selection. Okay, just press delete. Okay, so if I delete, I won't see the polygon of the right leg. Okay, but if you change to point mode, okay, you can see the point is still here. Okay, so you better select polygon, go to functions, select optimize, and do our optimize uh, once to delete all and use the point. So it's better. Okay, so it's the left leg and the right leg. Okay, so. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Bye bye.